the relatively recent Mickey Mouse series of cartoons on Disney Plus for me has been quite hit and miss. Some of them have been okay, some of them I thought were a little underdeveloped. But with Bad Ear Day, I genuinely laughed out loud on more than one occasion. And I think that's the first time that that's happened with me in this particular series. So needless to say, this is so far my favourite one. And this is the ninth episode, directed by Chris Savino. And obviously we have Chris Diamantopoulos as Mickey Mouse. And the premise for this is pretty straightforward. Mickey is supposed to be going on a date with Minnie, but he is running late. Minnie calls him and says, where are you? He's trying to convince her. He's just heading out of the door. He's trying to fix his ears or his hair, his head. And he's in such a rush that his ears suddenly disappear. They... um fly away and he's got to try and find his ears again and that in itself doesn't sound that exciting but the way they carry out the narrative from that point is i won't see where the ears end up or how he finds them but while he's looking for them everything is basically silent the use of sound is so effective occasionally we can slightly hear some sound as if his ears have become muffled as if there is just a tiny bit of sound penetrating his head so we can kind of hear as if Mickey could hear, or lack of hearing, I guess. And he bumps into Goofy, and um, there's a very entertaining exchange of dialogue between Goofy and Mickey, and Mickey borrows Goofy's ears, and that gives us some glorious animation. And then even when Mickey's out of the picture and we just have Goofy for a couple of seconds... <laughs> Honestly, Goofy usually annoys me, but in this one he made me laugh so much. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was very cleverly done. It's... A basic enough concept, Mickey Mouse loses his ears, he has to track them down. But the use of sound, or lack thereof, is so effective and the discussion between uh, Mickey and Goofy, as I said, is one of my favourites. That exchange of dialogue is just fantastic. And what happens at the end, which I won't divulge, I thought was very effective, very, I was going to say very realistic, that's not the term I'm looking for, very believable? I don't know. I think I've gone off on a tangent trying to find this word, but um, yeah, completely lost my train of thought. Either way, Bad Ear Day is a lot of fun. It's very well executed, very cleverly done, brilliant use of sound and silence and muffling. Fabulous exchange between Mickey and Goofy. Definitely so far my favourite in this series and has made me want to carry on watching them because actually this is the first one I've watched in probably over a month because I just wasn't really engaging with them. I stopped watching them to then binge watch The Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse and that I thoroughly enjoyed. So I went back to this hoping it would, you know, I'd be in the right frame of mind for it. Clearly I am. Bad Ear Day is amazing. If like me you watched some of this series but weren't that taken by it, give it another go or at least just watch Bad Ear Day if you haven't seen any. I'm pretty confident you'll find it an absolute delight.